This is an extension exercise for 1C part 1 where you could add in a drop-down box for the church ID. The question doesn't actually ask for a drop-down box but it is shown on the sample layout. So we can put one in here. At the moment if we want to change a church we have to know the ID. So I could for example put 4 in there and it would change it to whatever church number 4 is. And put 5 and it will change it back to church number 5. So it would be much better if we could use a drop down box that would let us select the church. So I'm going to remove church ID and we're going to create a drop down box on there instead. So there's my drop down box option. So I'll draw the shape of it. I need it to be reasonably wide. And I'm going to get it to get values from the church table. So from another table and it'll be from the church table. And then we decide what we're going to put in. So I'm going to have the church ID, its name, and probably its postcode. That should be enough for me to identify the church. Don't need any particular sort order. At the moment it's hiding the key column, but our sample layout has it showing the number 5. So I'm going to include the church ID. I'm going to resize these columns. I'm going to make them a bit wider than they need to be because of changing the font size in a moment for the house style. And it now says, when I select a row in this combo box, which value do I want to store in the database? So it's the church ID that I'm going to store. That's the primary key of the church table. And we're going to store that into the church ID of the booking table. So that's a foreign key in the booking table. Uh, I'm now given an option to call it something. So I'm going to call it uh, select church or just church ID and click on finish. Now I need to do my uh, house style again. I'm going to use a format painter this time. So I'm going to just click on the format painter there and paint that. And we'll do the same for this one. We'll take that format and paint it onto there. We'll just move things into position and that should be enough to get it working. So let's have a look. There's our church and it works. Now, when I print this and show evidence, I need to go to record number five because that is what the question asked for. It asked for number five to be shown or booking ID three with church five. And then we do a screenshot because if we try and print it, the buttons don't show. Now, one thing to be aware of, now you've created this combo box, the view church button won't work because your view church button was linking to a field called church ID. Now if we have a look and have a look at what this is called now, so we'll just go into its properties. It's now called combo 25. So if I change it back to church ID, then hopefully the button will work. No, it doesn't. So we now have to have a look and just see exactly what is going wrong. Okay, so it's looking for it, church details form, to be equal to the church combo box. Okay, so that's because I'd called it church combo before. So we'll make it called church combo again. So if we have a look here, we'll call it church combo. Not comb, we'll go for combo instead. Have a look at that. There we go, now it works. So just a little bit of problem solving that I thought would be useful to show you there. So that is now the form completed.